Pride causes shame. Stay away from pride. Proverbs 11 verse 2. When pride comes, then comes shame. But with the humble is wisdom. You see, as we have considered how God deals with shame and how God reverses it and God brings us to a place of honor, double honor and increase. And he brings us to a place of boldness and confidence in him. There is also a word of warning for us. And God's word tells us that it is pride that causes shame. See, there are times in our lives that if we are not careful and we become arrogant, we become boastful, we become proud, we become we come into a place where we think we know it all, we are just, you know, I can handle it by myself kind of thing, I don't need God. Uh, what will happen? It says pride causes shame. So when we step out like that, when we move out in that, that posture, in that stance, we are actually putting ourselves at risk. We are going to fall. We're going to come into, we're going to be humiliated. We're going to come down and that will cause shame. So we need to guard ourselves against pride. But it says here, with the humble is wisdom. When you walk with humility, it gives you access to wisdom. Now, how does that happen? In Proverbs 13 and verse 18, it says, Poverty and shame will come to him who disdains correction, but he who regards a rebuke will be honored. That means when a person is walking in pride, he disdains correction. He doesn't like to be told. He doesn't like to be instructed. He doesn't like to receive wisdom from people who uh, you know, have that, who have that understanding. Maybe they have experienced, they have learned something, but he's unwilling to receive that. So he rejects correction, he rejects inputs. And so what happens, it says poverty and shame will come to such a person. But a person who pays attention to uh, what is spoken into his life, he is going to come to a place of honor, meaning he's gonna go up. He's gonna uh, learn from what has been spoken in his life and he will step up in life rather than be put down. So here's a very important thing for us to understand that we must guard ourselves against pride because if we go off in pride, it's gonna end us up in shame. We will end up in shame. We must stay open to input, to correction, to instruction, uh, receive wisdom, because with that, we will step up into a place of honor. We will only get better through the good inputs that come into our lives. Guard your heart from pride. Be teachable. Listen. Learn. Keep growing. Move into a place of honor. Let's pray. Lord God, we ask you that you will help us guard against pride. Know for us for knowing that pride causes shame. Give us teachable hearts, humble minds, so we receive wisdom. We receive instruction, even correction, so that we can move into a place of honor in our lives. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.